Laser Beak Sound is sort of like standing on top of a purple mountain in its majesty and sort of he's just up there, lightning bolts and everything behind him. It's like if you took trap beats, brought them to the future, and then brought them back, and then lit them on fire. Laserbeak is Aaron Mater, steadfast friend, champion of music, hardest working dude I know. Ultimate boss, and one of the best dudes I've ever known. The legend boss god. I think that he's a genius. So I'm the CEO, GM of Doomtree Records. I'm also a music producer. Doomtree is a artist collective, I guess, is the best way to put it. So we're seven artists that are solo artists that have come together over the years to kind of create this independent record label, small business. We're also a band when the seven of us decide to squat up and make an album. When I started music, I was a kid in like eighth grade with a hundred dollar electric guitar and like a crappy little amp and I wanted to be a rock star like everybody else. Um, and I still did, you know, I still do. We started Doomtree probably in like 2001. And at that point it was just a gang of us that all were interested in the same type of music and wanted to figure out how to make rap music. And we've all kind of grown into different roles and mine has kind of been more of the logistics and like just kind of like making sure everything continues to run. So it was a really slow progression and then eventually we kind of needed real titles as we got bigger, so CEO. But I really like getting stuff done. Like I'm very much driven by the to-do list and I love checking things off. And that is what kind of self-motivates me. I kind of am my own taskmaster. I like the social aspect of like, I have a relationship with all these different facets that go into creating a product and music. Like pretty much everybody that is a part of any Doomtree record has conversed with me or I had traded emails or whatever. And there's something about that that feels like its own world. It's almost, we've created our own economy in a way and, um, and built friendships through that. And I like that connection to people. So right now it's 11.29 a.m. Central Time. And at 11.30 a.m. Central, we are releasing a brand new Dessa music video. We're also announcing the first dates of her world tour. So it's go time like crazy so it's 11 30 we're waiting on billboard to premiere the track like weeks of of lead up leads to this one moment at 11 30 where all of us all we can do is wait for billboard to push the trigger and once they do that um you know it's 10 minutes of chaos so as like the office work and business stuff has grown Obviously, there's been a lot less time to actually sit down and make music. When I was younger, I would spend five or six days a week cranking out beats all day, every day. Now, I have to schedule time. My goal is three hours of time in a week. And if I can get that, I stay happy, cordial. I don't bum people out or get super crabby at home. This is filled with different sounds that I've manipulated, so. Some saxophones. A lot of saxophones. In the past, I would just have a stockpile. I'd have like a thousand beats that anyone could peruse at any time. Now, because the time is so much smaller, I just kind of create things for a specific project. 
that is one of my favorite parts, but I get lost in that. And a couple hours after you, you make something from nothing is like such a powerful feeling to me. I'm chasing that feeling and have been since, you know, I picked up my dad's guitar. We're in Northeast Minneapolis, headed to the Hideaway Studios to work on some mixes for this solo Laserbeak album I've been working on. I find that a lot of the music and the art gets made in these kind of brutal winter months and then, you know, the releases and the parties and uh, kind of the, the public showing of the work happens in the spring and summer when everyone's finally like out of hibernation and ready to communicate with other people. I've always found this to be a good time for creation. Okay, let's go mix a record. We're at the Hideaway Studio, working with Joe Mabbitt, who's a recording engineer who owns the studio and has been like our go-to guy to record and mix all of our records, basically. I'm super pumped because this is my solo album. I haven't really done one of those in five or six years. And then I had a maybe losing the shaker until 4.13 to build it even more, I think. There's, yeah, there's a couple of things happening. So there's this shaker. Okay. And there's this percussion. Gotcha. Let's try losing the first one that you solo in. Shaker two. It's in this mix phase. It'll, it gets really technical, but I really love it. I love being in a studio, fixing all the things that have been annoying me about the songs. That's all I got. Yeah. Dude, nice job. Crushed it. As always. Yeah. Much appreciated. Absolutely. So now we're headed home. I live over in South Minneapolis in a house with my three kids and my wife. So this is the part of the day where things wind down. Like I've, I try to cram in as much as I can at the end and catch up on all the important emails and then get home. And because as soon as you open the door, it's on. So this is the calm before the storm. All right, let's go see these insane children. Okay. Here we go. Best part about getting home from work is seeing the kids, because they are at an age where they're actually still excited to see me. You like broccoli? There you go. Nice job. Pretty good. Feel like I'm in a really good place. There's good years and bad years, and there's ups and downs, and I've, I've gotten better at realizing when I'm on the wave and it's going up. And right now feels like I'm getting on that wave, and I don't surf at all, so I don't know why I'm using this as an example, but it feels like I'm able to recognize that, yes, the Shredders thing feels really good. I'm so happy I got a solo record done. Kids are awesome, family life is good. I get to play some shows, I'm on tour. I'm getting kind of like best of all worlds right now. And so I want to just continue with that juggling uh, to the best of my ability. <laughs>